Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing this evening? Springtime is coming here in Michigan, and I'm excited. <laughs> oh, man, winter's going to be over. Maybe I'll pick up a little bit more energy and everything and lift my spirits a little bit. I want to talk about... Um, actually, I was going to do this video. It was going to be my first video of the year, but... Um, I think I winded up covering uh, a couple of um, stuff that was in the news and, um, you know, current event, a couple of current event things, you know. But this was supposed to be my first video of the year, so I'm going to do it now. Um, I want to tell the ladies, send a message to the ladies to please know your worth. Ladies, please know your worth. And I, I'm just getting tired of, I know it took me a long time to get to a place to where I know my worth. It took me a long time. I mean, it was a, it was a, quite a little bit of a journey and I had to go through some things and um, deal with, go through some learning experiences and everything and you know, uh, get hurt or whatever, make a few, I had to make a few mistakes and all this stuff. And after all that, I winded up learning a lot about myself and, um, in the midst of it all, I winded up learning my worth. And, um, part of it was, you know, getting a closer relationship with God, you know, me getting a closer, closer relationship with God helped me to be able to learn my worth. You know, um, that was very instrumental in me learning my worth um, and realizing that, um, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm worthy. I'm, I'm worthy. Um, I, I don't deserve to be treated, mistreated by anyone or used by anyone in any kind of way, whether it be sexually or any way, any other way. And I, the knowing that I deserve to be loved and deserve to be appreciated and deserve to be treated with respect and all that. And just, and, and, and when you, when you finally get to a place, when a woman finally gets to a place to where she really learns her worth, it is worth its weight in gold. It is really worth its weight in gold. And I just, you know, hearing about, you know, a lot of stuff in the news, I'll be looking at a lot of stuff in the news and I'm just, overhearing these cases about um, these women, um, just different cases of these women allowing these men to move in with their children and hurt and kill the kids, you know? And um, my thought, or sometimes in a lot of cases, they're abusing the, the children. Um, these women get into these relationships with these abusive men and they, 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 they get into the relationship. I know sometimes those relationships get so toxic that sometimes a woman has a hard time leaving because she's afraid she's afraid of uh, that he will kill her and all that. So I know sometimes they stay out of fear, but um, just a lot of times they stay because they don't know their worth. You know, and these women out here that just get involved with these men that just want to constantly break down their self-esteem. You know, women allowing men to break down their self-esteem, especially as black women. I think all women, regardless of what, no matter what race, need to learn their worth. And don't let a man break down your self-esteem, particularly black women, because um, it just seems like there is a lot of hatred towards black women coming from black men and um, I know as a black woman and I think I did a video talking about this as a black woman it's kind of hard to maintain a healthy self-esteem as a black woman but um, with God's help with Jehovah God he can help you with that but the one thing that's very important that we must not do is we must not allow men to break down our self-esteem um, no matter how many black men out there say they hate us and we're that and we're this and we're that and all that. We mustn't allow them to break down our self-esteem, break down our self-worth.
because God says that we are worthy. God is the one that tells us that we're worthy. In his in his word, the Bible, he teaches us our worth. He, he tells us that we're worthy. And it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what a lot of guys are saying. Um, because we know, we all know that there's a lot of good black women out here. And we're not monolithic. We're not all the same. And we must not, it's very important for us to not let those black men that hate black women break down our self-esteem. And that's a lot of women do. They allow men to break down their self-esteem. They allow men to break down their self-worth to make them feel worthless, like they're nobody. And it's very important for all women, regardless of race, to not let allow a man, I don't care if that man is your husband, you do not allow that man to break you down and to make you feel bad about yourself. And you have to know that you're worthy. You have to know that you deserve to be treated with respect, that you deserve to be loved. Um, Bible says a man should care for his own wife as if he would his own body, you know? And so, you know, he, he's got to, you know, if he, if he's a man of God, he's got to, he's got, he's got to show you that love and respect. But if he don't, you know, you, you got to know your work. And like I said, these ladies, they, young ladies get involved and especially mothers to, to little girls, mothers that have girls. If you don't know your worth as a woman, then how are you supposed to teach your daughter to know her worth? To know, to know what her worth is. If you don't know your worth. And she sees you getting involved with the wrong types of men. And like I said, I, I, I hear a lot of cases of these women allowing these men to come in their home and hurt and kill their kids. In, 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 in the name of having a man. I've, I've even hear of some cases of women allowing the men to abuse their daughters, to sexually abuse their daughters. Because in the name of having someone and not knowing their worth, thinking that they're not worthy of, of being with somebody that is going to respect them, is going to respect their family, is not going to abuse their, their them or their children that way. And so it is so important for ladies to know your worth, because if you don't know your worth as a lady, as a, as a woman out here, if you don't know your worth, you will allow a man to come into your life and just do anything to you, treat you any kind of way. You will even allow him to mistreat your children if you don't know your worth. And it's so important for women to know men, you know, you will, you could allow men. I know there was times where, you know, I allow men to do a lot of things. And, you know, I thought I knew my worth, but at the end of the day, I didn't know my worth. But when I learned my worth, it was worth its weight in gold. Because I finally took a stand and I said, no, I'm not going to let these men abuse me mentally or physically because I know I deserve better, you know, because I know I say I look at all my qualities and I know that Jehovah God loves me. And I look at all my qualities and all the wonderful qualities that I have. And I said, I, I am worthy. I am worthy of having someone that's going to love me, respect me and, and, and not going to mistreat me in any kind of way or use me. And until the woman learns her worth, she's going to continue to, it's, the cycle is going to continue. She is going to continue to allow men to come into her life, to abuse her, to even abuse her children. You know, and it's a lot of women that be putting up with that. And I'm here, like I say, I, I get tired of hearing these cases about these women allowing this, these men come into their home and kill their kids. And it all stems down. Not knowing your worth can can be serious. It it it, it can it can even comes down to life or death. And so it's so important for women to know their worth. It's just so important. Um, I know when I was in my uh, last relationship, um, when I was I had I was with this guy, and he was just saying a lot of emotionally abusive things to me. I mean, he wasn't calling me out my name or anything like that, but he was he was putting me through a lot of emotional abuse. And at the time, you know, sometimes when you're going through something and you're young, you don't kind of, you don't identify it as emotional abuse until you, you take actually 
step outside the situation and walk away from the situation. And then you learn a few things and then you look back and you'd be like, dang, that was emotionally abusive. But at the time when you're in it, particularly if you're young, you don't identify it as being emotionally abusive. But he was he was emotionally abusive to me. And, you know, at the time, not knowing my worth like I should have known it, you know, I put up with it, you know. And now I look at I look back at some of the things that I put up with back in the day for men and I'll be like, I couldn't even imagine allowing that. I couldn't even imagine allowing men to take me through those things that I just couldn't imagine it. I couldn't imagine going through that now that I'd rather be alone than to have someone treat me that way, talk to me that way, you know, and, 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 um, it just, it's amazing because it's amazing because at the time you think you do know your worth, but you really don't, you know? And because some of the things that I allowed men to do, um, the, the guys that I was with, I allowed some of the things that I allowed, um, that was evidence that I didn't know my worth. And it was a beautiful thing when I finally did learn my worth, you know? Because now I'm not going to let a guy come into my home and mistreat me, mistreat my children, um, you know, talk to me any kind of way, go take me through emotional abuse or physical abuse. I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to put up with it. Because at the end of the day, yes, I'd rather be alone than to have someone that's going to disrespect me. You know, I would love to get married one day and, you know, um, spend my golden years with someone. But at the end of the day, I'd rather be by myself than to be with somebody that's going to be disrespectful and is not going to honor me and love and respect me like I deserve. I don't care what nobody in YouTube land says. You can call me every name in the book. You can call me ugly. You can call me this ratchet. You can call me this. You can call me that. But at the end of the day, I know who I am and I know my worth and I know what I deserve. And it's a beautiful thing. And that's why I'm saying women have to learn their worth. Mothers, learn your worth so you can teach your daughters their worth. Actually, it's, it, it actually falls on the father to teach the daughters their worth. The father is the one that actually teaches the daughters their worth. But if the father is not around, it is the mother's responsibility to try to instill that in her daughter as much as she possibly can. So... It's just important because if you don't know your worth, I see these women out here walking around and they're prostituting themselves and sometimes they're out there for drugs because they're on drugs, but it's just it just makes me sad because it, I, I just know it all stems, stems down to ne them not knowing their worth. And some women got abused as, as children and everything and they went through a lot and that caused them to not know their worth. That is, that is um, through drawing closer to Jehovah God getting a close relationship with him, and he could show us what our worth. He could show us our worth. I know I didn't have a father to tell me my worth. But through trial and error, making a lot of mistakes, you know, and stuff like that, um, I learned I learned my worth. And I tell you, it's worth its weight in gold because you save yourself a lot of pain. You save yourself a lot of heartache, you know, a guy is with you, and he's mistreating you, he's cheating on you, he's doing that, talking to you any kind of way, I uh, want to uh, use you for your money. or Like I hear about some of these cases, these, some of these women are on Dr. Phil, and they're um, allowing these men to, to take their money. First of all, a, a man ain't supposed to be asking no woman for no money. I'm a firm believer that a man ain't supposed to ask no woman for no money unless, unless that man is married to you and he is your husband. Then that is the only way that he should ask you for money because it's, it's, it's his money is your money. Your money is his money. That's different. It's a whole different situation when you marry. But you just meeting somebody online. What the heck is that man doing asking you for money? He ain't got no business asking you for no money. So that's a red flag. You would think that that would be a red flag for these women, but it's not. And it all stems down. And they had this one lady on Dr. Phil. I felt so sorry for her. She said she had her wedding dress already. And and uh, Dr. Phil was trying to get her to understand that this guy was catfishing her. That he was just taking money from her. 
and he was taking, she was an older lady, and he was taking all her little retirement. And it was just so sad. I was, I was just, I felt so bad for that woman. It's because she didn't all boil down to, yes, she was loneliness. And sometimes people do a lot of strange things when they're alone, out of loneliness, but it also stemmed, stemmed down, came down to her not knowing her worth. You know, you got to know that you're not, you're worthy. You, you got to know that you don't have to buy a man's love, you know? You know, and it's like I said, no, no, a woman knowing her worth is worth its weight in gold. You know, it saves you a lot of that pain. It saves you a lot of heartache. I can't imagine a man coming online, um, me meeting a guy online. I used to do online dating. I could imagine meeting a, a guy online and he go ask me off for all kind of money and everything and telling me here that he loved me. I'm like, I dated a guy online and that said he loved me before he met me. And I'm like, how do you how do you love me when you don't even know me? <laughs> so I didn't fall for that one. So, I mean, just, it's so important. I just, I wanted this to be my first video of the year. I just wanted to get that message out to all ladies. Know your worth. Learn your worth. It is very important for women to know their worth because you save yourself a lot of heartache. You save yourself, even from, you can even save your life. You can save your children's life, knowing your worth. It is worth its weight in gold. Trust and believe what I say. Okay, I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Stay tuned. This is Sweet June.